This is her. Um, you don't know me, but uh, I'm uh, I'm local here in Woodland Park. Uh, my uh -huh. name My name is Michael Dalton. Um, I don't know if you know that name. I've messaged you on Facebook. Um, I got your number through a mutual friend, and I I had seen something that you posted, and I just wanted to see if you would make any comments about um, Patrick Frazee. Oh. I've known Patrick for a long, long, long time. Have you really? Yeah. Um, he's been do and then he's been doing my ponies for over 10, 15 years. Okay. He's been my farrier, and he was here, what, three days after that supposedly happened? After y Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah. What was his, uh, what was his demeanor like? Are you just a friend, or are you a news person? Um, do, you, do you know anything about the Woodland Park Underground? Yeah. That's that's me. Oh, so, okay. So I'm not a news person. I'm, I actually lived on Kelsey's Block. Um, oh, you did? Yeah, I, I, I still do. I still do. Um, and I, I am... I'm interested in hearing all everybody's side of the story, you know, and a lot of people have said a lot of bad things about Patrick. And even if I don't necessarily agree with everything people have said, good or bad, um, I think everybody deserves a fair, you know, a fair shout out both in the media and social media as well as they, they get their fair day in court. Well, it has been upsetting to see some of the things people have written about him. And it's not to lessen what's happened to Kelsey, because that in itself, we can never fix or change or make better. Yeah, no, um, and, and, and I know, and I mean, understand I've met that. her, uh, you know, Patrick had brought her over here um, when they first got together, and they were so happy, and um, yeah. Uh, but then Patrick did confide in me about a few things that were happening in the relationship where she had decided they didn't, she didn't really particularly care for his lifestyle being a cowboy and decided that it wasn't for her. And um, they, she, you know, they split ways. And, um, and then Patrick showed up one day with the baby and, um, He's like, yeah, she had a baby and came back and said, well, you know, she came back before the baby was born because he went with her to the hospital. But um, he asked for a paternity test and it was his. Oh, so there was kind of a question whether or yeah. not it was his baby for a while. That's, that's coming from him to me, yes. Gotcha. Um, but... You know, this, all this other stuff about Kelsey being, a, you know, a drug addict or whatever, I don't believe any of that. Um, um, uh, you know, um, swaying towards Crystal having more to do with it than we all think. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Did you know, Patrick, Patrick could have killed her a million different ways than to do it like that. You know? Did, uh... Did you know um, Patrick's mother? I've never met Patrick's mother, but when he spoke about her, um, you know, I knew her. his mom wasn't in the best of health. Um, he, you know, and he lived with her to help take care of her. Um, I had had a health issue, and Patrick always, every time he'd come, asked me how I was doing, and my family, and, you know, he knew us all, my whole family. They, uh, has in, has law enforcement contacted you at all? No. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like and they... And on his phone records, it would show he had called me. Oh, probably... I called him right after Thanksgiving, um, and, um, told him I needed him to come do the ponies, um, and he showed up the next day. So, and he had the baby, and... You know, like he always did, he bundled her up and put her in her stroller and brought her up to my horse pen and the baby would just sit there and we'd play with her and stuff while he did the ponies. 
so so and this so was this was, was just three this was three days after Thanksgiving or two days after Thanksgiving? Three or four days after Thanksgiving. 